Well, hello everybody. I hope you're doing well today. Let's talk a little bit about what I found. I figured you might want to know that. If you don't already know me, my name is Gail. So today we're going to talk about some of the items that I found either at garage sales, Goodwill, estate sales, local curbside pickups, what have you, to be able to buy them and flip them for a profit on eBay primarily, but I also sell on Mercari and Facebook Marketplace. I appreciate you clicking on this video, so let's get into what you came here for. I got this Yo Yo, yo Nana's, <laughs> Yo Nana, not Yo Nana, my Nana. Anyway, I got this for five bucks and it looks like I can sell it for 20 to 40 bucks. Um, if not, I thought, well, I could use it for me. I got two ashtrays. I got this one. I just thought it was kind of cool looking. It's definitely older, but there's no markings on it. I was going to see if I can get that shine back. It's for 25 cents for this one. This one also for 25 cents. I just thought they were kind of cool. I got this phone for a dollar. To be honest, the place that I was at didn't have any cell connection, so I had to rely on my instincts. This one has been used. She said she thought it worked, but wasn't sure. And I looked up the comps and just by scanning the barcode and I saw one for four bucks, but I have to look at that a little more detail. This game is new and sealed. It's Liar's Dice, original game. And you could tell by the look of these people, this is vintage. Looks like it's from the eighties. I paid a dollar, it's brand new. And I wanna say this was going for about 20 or so online after I was able to look up the comps paid one dollar for this operation desert storm hat um it looks in really good shape so it's got the foam backing that's still intact so i'm not sure what it'll be worth but i paid a dollar for that this reese's peanut butter cups t-shirt for 25 cents and it's extra large so it's my favorite chocolate if you guys ever want to send me some i'll give you my address um so that's either for me or somebody else actually there's um little i'm seeing like a little hole right there above the e right there so i'll probably keep that one for myself but these shorts these are shorts are easy to list uh they're pga tour shorts uh, i got them for 25 cents so that's they're really good shape and i'm sure they're men's size 36 and i got these gingham i guess you call them or plaid shorts um bugle boy original for men also 25 cents also got this uh, marine amplifier four channel waterproof power amplifier um they said they never used it i paid five bucks i want to say this was going for about 40 or so online got this and i don't know why it's by memorex it has three discs for the cd player and it has um, a record player, radio, cassette. So it pretty much has everything, but no idea what all this stuff is, honestly. And it came with two of these. I paid five bucks, but honestly, I don't know that, I couldn't see any comps on it, so who knows. Brand new Castle Season 2, unopened at Goodwill for $1.99. Got this at Goodwill as well. This is a Moonlighting CD. I don't know if you guys remember. This is Bruce Willis and Sybil Shepard. This is season three. Um, this is um, $1.99 is what I paid for it at Goodwill. Um, and the comp show, I could get about 20 something dollars for it. This is kind of torn a little bit, but it's all there and in pretty good shape. So that'll be a good flip. Your hat for $1.99 at Goodwill. Brand new, authentic. That's gonna be hopefully at least fifteen dollars. Hopefully at auction for thirty dollars. They are um, nineteen or eighteen forty-seven Rogers silver-plated flatware, um, and it says flare on it is the type. So um, some of these were going for. Um, like for maybe a set of spoons like four or five of them for about 10 or 15 some sold an entire lot for 80 it just depends i'm not sure if i'm going to part them out or sell them together but i did buy them for 30 dollars. i got this hp toner for a dollar it is expired but it will sell Let's see i got this at goodwill 
brand new in the package, Munchkin milk thing or another, whatever. It was for $3.99. Um, easy milk and storage. I think these go for $20 online. And then I got for $4.99 at Goodwill, I got this toilet paper blasters <laughs> deal. This sells for, I think, $25 online, but I paid $4.99 for it. This hit auction for about $12 or $13. And when I got it, I realized that it does have some scuff marks on it. Um, and it said one speaker doesn't work, but if you connect the two, it does, so I don't quite understand. That might be a bad buy. Um, my mom gave me this Keurig to sell, so I gotta see what this sells for. This is not new in box. It is in box, but she only used it a few times. Eggs, um, to try to sell some are like, this one's acrylic, this is wood, but these are all like some sort of stone. I have to see what those are going for. And I also have this new wave um convection oven type thing from her to sell i also got from my mom these purses uh, she said they're leather i don't know all the brands or if they're all truly leather but i have to look them up i got these adidas pink hue sneakers for 12 dollars at an auction online and i think they're selling for about 30 bucks online but this is a size 10 so i'm not real sure about this particular one Okay, so to be honest, these Air Maxes, uh, you can see they have a little bit of red rubbed off on the white as well as there on the material. And it's the only part that I noticed, but they did say in the auction it appeared to be new. So you can see the bottom tread looks good. I, I paid up on this. I paid $26 because I was seeing online that they would go for about 50 or so. So fingers crossed I didn't make a bad buy on this one. This is a Cuisinart Prep 11 Plus food processor. I got it at auction. I am also paid up for this one about $17 because I was seeing that you can sell these online for about $65 pre-owned and um, some people also part these out. This We Just Dance 2016 I think was going for $15 or so. I paid $1.99 at a Goodwill for it. So I'm going to get that listed and sold pretty quickly. I got this quilt. It's, it, it is hand stitched and made um for ten dollars at a resale shop it's a size king i'm pretty sure of it no rips no stains these sell for pretty well i'm struggling a bit on that one i'm not sure if i want that for me or if i want to resell it what do you think let me know well guys, that pretty much sums up my newest, most recent haul. I will have more soon because I'm always getting stuff. It's time I got to listing some of the stuff now, which it's so much easier to buy. Don't you think? I mean, you know, comment below if you're one of those that love to buy and don't mind shipping, but really don't like listing the item for sale. I'm one of those, but I do know it's a fact. The more you list, the more you sell. So stick with it if you are a reseller. Either way, thank you so much for stopping by and I'll see you in my next video. Bye y'all.